Okay. So I, I made these things for the Mavic Mini. It's been a, a couple of days and kind of like for a small thing it was really difficult to make but it's a little bracket thing that goes in the back of the front of the arms of the Mavic Mini. I noticed on some YouTubers videos of the Mini 2 that the Mini 2 now has like a hard plastic there instead of the foam where the Mini 1 has um, foam. <laughs> So um, the front arms on the Mavic Mini are kind of flexible and I'm guessing they did this on the Mini 2 to like increase that um, the stiffness and that should probably like I don't know make it perform better hopefully. Um, the, the rear legs I can't really like from what I've seen on the videos no one seems to point out any difference so from what I can tell, they're probably still foam on the Mini 2. And on the Mini 1, um, they're, they're pretty stiff already. So, yeah, it's really just the, the front arms that have the, the problem. So, yeah, I, I made those pieces. And um, I, in this clip, I still hadn't put them in. But I, I made one, one in resin. And I also made one... In, in PLA and um, <clears throat> like I was I was debating for a while which one to use so um, yeah the the rigidness of each one they seem pretty similar but obviously I don't know really if the the resin one or I mean the, the PLA one would be brittle or if the PLA one would get soft under heat or something. But I don't know. Here it is like I removed the foam. And um, I don't think it's possible to remove all the traces of the, the adhesive there without using like some type of adhesive remover. Which I don't recommend because you don't know if it's going to damage the plastic. I don't know what type of plastic they use here. So... Just get out as much of it as you can, and um, if it's like if you have like high spots, it's probably better to remove material from the actual bracket than try to remove it from the arm of the mini, because you got like the the wires there and stuff, and that that gray wire is the the antenna, I believe. Yeah. So um. Oh yeah, and actually the the black PLA one is a little bit softer. And those little pieces right there are actually um, foam from the uh, the foam that was in there. So I was surprised that it's really like it's really just foam that they put in there, and it provides no support at all. It's just for um, just to cover up that that little spot. And um, right here, it looks weird because I didn't realize it, but I don't have the the correct piece. I made these myself, so, you know, I, I did my best, and I got a, a nice fit in the end, like, I really can't complain, but, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not, like, um, what do you call it, professional designer or anything, so, yeah, I kind of got them mixed up. I just made one, and then I, I, I um, mirrored it to make the other one, but I didn't realize right here that I actually... I was using the incorrect one so yeah they are they do have their size and they are a little bit different so um, yeah one fits better and the next clip you will see I actually I glued them in and um, you'll see and then also I I did a test flight I, I haven't really flown this because it's been so windy here but I mean, I, I wanted to just do a, a small like cover at least because I'm worried about, you know, vibrations and such. But I mean, one thing I learned and one that I forgot to mention in the next clip is um, the glue I used. I I kind of recommend that you use that same glue, but don't don't do what I did. Like I was just anxious to try it out, but like like legit, let it um, 
let it cure for the full 72 hours before you try to to use it and like wrap it with tape and just leave it there for 72 hours but yeah next clip okay so I, I glued in the brackets and um, I went with the the PLA ones here's the resin ones the resin ones, I mean, from what I can tell, they're both equally as stiff. But, um, I don't know. Oh, the the PLA ones, they do feel a little bit lighter. Um, also, I just wanted the black. I could spray paint these, but then I'd have to wait for them to dry. And then, um, you know, if they scratch, then I have to paint them again. Whereas the black is just going to stay black, you know? So those were my reasons. Also, um, I like the way these ones fit better. They just, they were, like, neither of them fit bad. And actually this one fits, the resin one kind of fits better towards this edge. But, I don't know, it's strange. Like, this one sits more flush over here, but this one sits more flush over here. Which I know you can't see because I have tape wrapped around it, but I mean... I'm just letting you know but overall the black one it pressed in more which is overall what I liked and I didn't want to like be here holding it for hella hella long for it to for it to be level so I got electrical tape on there so that way you understand what I mean and also the glue I was using I'd have to like really be here holding it forever I use this glue right here I know you're out of focus, but you can still read those big ass letters, right? E6000. I think they also call it shoe glue or something. I don't even know. But yeah, I just put it right here on this, on the lips right here. And I set it. And I wrapped electrical tape on this corner and on this corner. And boy, I was a little bit worried because like... It, it didn't feel any different when I put them on. I mean, I guess I wasn't really worried. Like, it didn't feel any different. Like, it couldn't have been worse. Like, the foam, it didn't do anything either. But I don't know. I felt like I maybe I just I wasted a whole bunch of time and effort, you know? I and mean, that's like the real downer. But um, this glue is 24-hour dry time. And max hardness it says 72 hours so yeah it's been not even 24 hours and it dried and um i peeled the tape off on both corners and it seems like it's it's stuck in um in its spot already but i'm still gonna leave the electrical tape on there um But anyways, it's not even fully cured yet and it's way stiffer. Like I can just tell, not even just like twisting it. But I mean, like when you when you set it down. Okay, so look, like when you set it down with the foam ones, these pieces were kind of like flex, right? And now it's, it doesn't flex at all. Which now it kind of worries me like, um, is that going to be too stiff? Like, I, I don't think it'll be too stiff, but obviously like, if you make like some type of crash landing now, where you don't land um, intentionally, you know, like flat on a level surface, um, this is now going to have to absorb more impact, which is one thing. So yeah, I guess um, that might be something to think about. But I mean, I'm not really too worried about that. I'm really cautious when I fly my drone. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I only ended up putting the, the adhesive on this part right here. So I only put adhesive right here on these parts, these two spots, which is where the foam had adhesive in the first place. Um, I was thinking I should have put it like right here as well, but seeing how stiff the result was, I'm glad I didn't because 
I'm thinking putting the, the glue just on these outer edges, it would, it will let me remove them somehow. Like if I have to, I can probably pry something back here and peel, pop it off. Cause this glue, even though it's strong, I feel like it might be removable. I think hot glue, I don't know how hot glue would have worked in this situation, honestly. But I mean, here's the thing, like for this application, in order to test this, I, I pretty much had to like glue them in, in a more or less permanent, permanent way, you know? There's no like middle ground. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it, you know, hopefully I don't run into any problems. The only real problem I'm concerned about is now that this is stiffer, I mean, it's it's a lot stiffer. Um, will the vibrations transfer more to the to the mini body, and will that like not be okay with the the drone? I don't know. But I mean, the rear legs are way stiffer than the front ones to begin with, so there's no issues there. I mean, you could say it's designed that way, but I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, there's there's nothing bad. But I'm going to fly it and I'm going to put the clip in this video. Anyways. Um, yeah, thanks. takeoff like watching these clips that the brackets did make a difference it seems like the front propellers now have more thrust because on takeoff it actually it like leaned um it leaned back a little bit and also um, seems to be handling crosswinds a little bit better like um, the um the corrections it makes are, are smaller and more like they're just quicker in terms of the corrections so I'm kind of um, anxious to, to really get this out and fly it like, for real once we don't have any like strong wind warnings but anyways yeah thanks <laughs> 